Hi, Kelly Clement here from Metastock. In this Metastock Power user tip, we're going to be talking about the data window. In the data window, you are able to actually see more information than you would with just a standard view on a chart. So this is a great little tool to help you in your everyday trading. With that, let's go ahead and jump into Metastock. Okay, let's go ahead and open up a chart and start there. So obviously we have our power console. Let's just go ahead and open up a stock like Facebook. So we'll just open up Facebook here. So when you're on a chart in Metastock, obviously you can come in and you can hover over anything that you want to see more data on. So for example, here I'm looking at October 23rd, 2017. I can see the open high, low, close volume. If I come down, I can get a better look at the volume by looking at that individually. Let's say I had a moving average on my chart. Let's scroll up, find a moving average. We'll just plot the defaults here of our moving average. Okay, to get the value of my moving average, I need to hover over it and find the value of my moving average. So what the data window does is it makes it easier to see all that information all at one time. So the data window is just right up here. So it's this little circle with the crosshairs. So all I'm going to do to open up the data window is just click on that. And you can see now as I start to move through my chart, I can actually get all my information all consolidated into this window. So you can see we have our open high, low, close. We have our volume. We have our moving average all right there. So where this helps, and let's actually take this. We can One thing that's nice about the data window is we can either have it hover in our, in our chart or we can dock it over to the side. I like it docked over to the side, helps me know right where I wanna go. So, so now as I scroll through my chart, it gives me all my indicator values. So let's just put on a different template here just to get a better view of this. Let's put on something uh, like, the, uh, like the popular template. This has a, a couple different indicators on it. So now, as, you, as I scroll through here, you can see I can actually see all my indicator values one spot, very easy to do. Now, there's people out there who like to be able to just scroll th through and see the values. For some people, that can get a little daunting. Just, it's a lot of information moving around. So you can also go in and customize the data window. We just go over to it, right click on it, go to data window properties, and go to this general tab, and choose update on drag only. So what that means is it's just where I click. So if I'm looking at say right here, this little dip, I want to see those values. When I click that, it will stay there no matter where I go in Metastock. You can see those values, it'll keep them for you until you come and click on the next bar or wherever, wherever it is that you want to be in the chart. Okay, so. That's some quick tools here. We can also customize the data window by saying what we do and don't want to see. So if you don't care about indicator values, you can uncheck that and it wouldn't show indicator values anymore. It would just show the open, high, low, and close. But personally, I do like to see all those values. We can do that. Now, if this was something that had an expert advisor attached, let's just say, for example, we wanted to put on the RMO. Let's just put on the RMO for a moment. Okay, so when this comes up, okay, we'll click in here. This also shows the expert trend in as part of it. So you can, we can go into the data window properties, include the expert trend in as part of it, and it will include that in as part of your calculations as well. You can see that shows up right here at the top under this expert trend RMO bullish, which is what this is down here. So the data window is a great little reference to help you get a quick view of all your indicators whether they're bullish, bearish, depending on what you're looking at. So I hope that you found this quick tutorial very useful and you can apply it to your everyday use in Metastock. And I wish you successful trading and thank you.